back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well and having a lovely weekend. It's currently Monday for me, but I know that you're gonna be viewing this on Sunday. I feel so nervous to film this video and I feel like it's come around really quickly. If any of you have been following me for ages, um, I'm actually a dog groomer and I own my own dog grooming business and I have done for the past year and a half and it's just been incredible. Um, however, a couple of months ago, I got contacted by a nearby salon and asked if I wanted to be the stylist there. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> and honestly, it's been playing on my mind so much and I feel like I can finally say things. I can find, I've emailed my clients this morning um, it's going to be a big change, but it's been playing on my mind so much because for me, my end goal with dog grooming was always to own my own business, always. If I didn't leave my job last year, two years ago, sorry, if I didn't leave my job two years ago, I would still be employed, but I would have always wanted to look for a place for myself to rent so that I could be self-employed. But honestly, since January, my mind has been really kind of boggled because I felt there is other areas in my life that I really, really want to explore that isn't just dog grooming. And I think anyone that owns a business knows how consuming it is. If you own a business, that business is your entire life. You honestly don't get a day off. And for me, I am, I'm such a people pleaser. I find it really hard to set boundaries. So owning my own business has been quite challenging for me. Um, it's really pushed me in places that I wouldn't have ever dealt with before if I was employed. So I'm so grateful for that. But since January, my brain has really been contemplating whether this is the right decision for me. And when this opportunity come up, I did doubt it because I work so hard to build my business, to build a stable foundation. But there's this other part of me that knows there's other aspects that I want to enjoy. I absolutely love filming. I love creating. I love yoga. I love meditation. There are other areas I really want to dive into. And I feel at 25, I feel restricted by my business. And <laughs> that probably sounds really silly to some people. And I know if you own a business and that is your whole life, what I'm saying right now may not make sense to you if, if your business is your end goal. But I've realized the past few years, I love grooming, but it's only a part of my life. I don't want it to be, I don't want my whole life to be consumed about, by it. And I feel that it is. Well, I, I don't personally have a holiday until September. Obviously, if you're employed, you get five, six weeks holiday paid. I'm not off until September. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired, so tired. And not just that, it's just, I have a lot of other passions and I really, really want to pursue them and put my effort into them as well. And that's not to say I don't want to be an incredible dog groomer because I do and I'm still learning and I'm still doing a course at the moment to progress and be a holistic groomer. And I'm so into that and I absolutely love it. I just don't want to own my whole business. I want grooming to be a part of my life and I want to be able to explore other areas. Another reason I decided to take this step was because both of my parents are actually self-employed and they have been since me and my brother were little. And I think I've just started to realise how stressful that must have been. I honestly, seriously respect anyone that runs their own business and has a family. But I've kind of figured out what my priorities are since running my own business. I don't currently have a family, but if I do have a family, I want full maternity leave paid. Um, and that absolutely would not have been an option in the position that I was in with my job. I also just want family time to be family time. I don't want my mind to also be consumed by, have I replied to my clients? Have I ordered my stock? Oh gosh, I need to contact the vet for this. I don't want my mind to be consumed by work. I want to be fully present for my family and <laughs> That's really, really important for me. So by having this security, I can use the rest of my time to be very clear and very focused on the journey and path that I want to take. And for me, that's having a very simple, comfortable, peaceful life with people that I love around me. And that's more important to me than being massively successful with a grooming business at this moment in time. What I've taken from this is I can do anything I want to do. 
I closed my books within five months of opening my dog grooming business. So I know that I'm fully capable of taking big steps and making big moves. But right now, owning my own business is not a priority. Getting on the property ladder and being at peace is my main priority currently. So that is a really big update. A lot of my clients can come with me because I'm still based in the same town. So I know that it will work out really well, but I just, I already feel like such a weight has lifted because I'm not going to be do, dealing with everything. I'm not going to be dealing with all of the finances, the tax, the bookings, complaints, um, people not showing up, not being paid. I just, I just feel such a relief. I literally could cry. But that is my hugest update. And I can finally put it out there because the salon have now started taking bookings for me. So that is out there. And now I can really focus on other things I want to enjoy. <laughs> about sending that email to my clients I was like I felt so nervous about telling them that I was going to a new place I don't know why because most of them can come with me but it's just not everyone's going to be able to follow me because I'm taking over another stylist but a few of them have just private messaged me already and just said like how proud they are of me ah, I'm so happy I'm so happy <laughs> before I head over to get my nails done um, I thought I'd show you some of these bars that I'd ordered. So I honestly have to eat all of the time or I get really hungry. Like I've eaten loads this morning, it's only half nine, I'm already hungry. And I feel I need a snack <laughs> that's relatively healthy just to keep me going throughout the day. I normally find I get a bit fatigued around three o'clock, like that three o'clock slump. So I kind of bought these for then. However, I'm probably going to have one now before I go see my nail tech because my stomach will be rumbling when I'm with her. So I will show you them. I ordered a batch of the Vive protein bars. They're more of a natural based protein bar. They're not full of so much chemical. They haven't got whey protein or protein powder in. It's just based on natural products like peanut butter and cacao and dates. And I really, really like that. That's a bit of me. And I wanted to get this pack of five because they have two flavors I've not tried yet. So they have the mocha almond and the peanut butter jelly, which I think I'm gonna really, really like. And the, oh, this one's only nine grams. These are only nine grams protein, these are 10 grams. Um, I personally, because I don't eat meat, it's not always the easiest to get a high amount of protein in. And because I work out as well, and my, my job's quite physical, I think it's really important. So these were just an easy snack for me. I can't remember where I bought them from before, but honestly, they're really delicious. I would definitely try them if you are plant-based. These are a really, really nice alternative protein bar. I'm gonna try peanut butter jelly one. This is turning into a bit of what I eat in a day as well, isn't it? I have also had toast. So it's like this. I don't really like chocolate with fruit, actually. Not like jelly's fruit, but... Strange. I think if it was, I think if it was peanut butter jelly without the chocolate, it would have been really nice. But for me, chocolate and fruit does not mix. Mm. I'm sure about that, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. So I'm on my way to see my nail tech. I've just stopped off to get us a Starbucks because she works so hard. I feel like now that I've been self-employed, I really respect people that run their own businesses. So I've brought her Starbucks um, just to keep her going. I've got myself, these are so nice. It's a hibiscus iced tea and it's really good if you put strawberry syrup in or um, I've just got lemonade in with it. It's so delicious. So hibiscus iced tea with lemonade. Mm. It's honestly so good. Mm. 
and I've also been listening to I'm so hungry it's 10 o'clock and I've already eaten I've had a smoothie I've had bananas on toast I've had a protein bar and I'm literally dying for my lunch it's ridiculous but I'm so early for my appointment my appointment's in an hour and I'm like less than 40 minutes away I'm honestly early for everything my pet peeve is hate uh, lateness if you are late for anything that I'm involved in I will literally be fuming angry so I'm always early and I normally just sit outside a house with my drink way early but I'm still gonna head off anyway I've been listening to the girls bathroom because that is my favorite podcast of all time I'm so jealous of everyone that got tickets to see them live I would love to have seen them I hope they release another day literally the best thing ever is by Sophie and Chintzia they're two girls on YouTube I think they're mid-20s same sort of age as me and I'm honestly obsessed with them guys look at my nails oh my gosh By the way, these are my own nails as well. My nail tech's insane. So when I woke up this morning, I was listening to that video from the bed. Yeah. Was it? Are you sleeping on someone's bed? Were you? I've just got back home it's about half past four I just did a mini food shop I'll show you what I got in a minute I'm feeling overwhelmed as always I don't know if anyone else does this but when I get a day off I literally give myself the most humongous list of jobs and if I don't get them done I feel mega anxious like it's half four and I know I need to write an essay I need to sort the salon out for tomorrow kind of want to go to the gym need to unpack my shopping and I need to do some washing and I was trying to sort my tax return out with Sam because it's really confusing and like that's another thing that's kind of like in my mind that I need to do I just feel overwhelmed so this was my mini little shop because I still got some bits here I decided to stock up on these bowl posh noodles oh my gosh I love these they're quite pricey they're at three quid but I just think if you need a really quick lunch and you haven't prepped any the next day that's just something easy to have in the fridge that's plant powered and reasonably healthy these ones are my favorite ones I've tried so far they are so yummy and I haven't tried um these ones yet so I'm going to give them a go um, I just got some beans because when you don't eat meat, I swear beans are just your life. <laughs> Balsamic because I always make my own salad dressings and I ran out the other week. I thought tonight I'd probably make a tuna rice salad bowl. So I also got some boil in the bag rice. I think boiled rice is so much better than microwave rice. Rice, uh, Microwave rice is just honestly disgusting to me. Um, I try not to eat too much fish, but... I, I do enjoy it so I have maybe once a week I have some fish I've got some tuna steak I also topped up on my favorite plant-based cream I'm pretty sure this one's made with lentils yeah 
which I quite like because a lot of them are made with soy protein, which can upset a lot of people's stomachs. So I love that one. And it's actually very creamy um, and it doesn't have a taste. So I, yeah, this is my absolute favorite. So I was going to make that with some pesto. Um, that does have cheese in, but <laughs> we'll just ignore that. And then I also got some cheese to put in the pesto, which just makes no sense, but it is what it is. Um, I also bought jacket potato because jacket potato is easy. I've been absolutely love loving um, green smoothies at the moment, and I just ran, ran out of my pack this morning. Um, so I've got another pack of them, which I've been really, really enjoying. And as I always say in any of my videos, I always have a nighttime tea before bed, but I've been drinking chamomile because I haven't had the puck of nighttime teas, but they're on sale in Tesco if you have a club card. This one's my particular favorite. They do have another one that's got valerian in um, and it's not flavoured with berry and that's not as nice. I don't know if this has valerian root in actually. No, this one doesn't have valerian root. That's why it doesn't do. Oh yeah, it does. It does. The other one's really strong. It tastes a bit like damp, but this one tastes very nice. And honestly, they really do help you sleep. Um, I got some nectarines because I thought for dessert, they'd be really nice hot with some maple syrup and some yogurt on. So that was just my little mini shop for the week. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees Oh, I will open up Okay, it's about 20 past five And I finally sat down I'm gonna sit down and have a power hour Just bosh out an essay um with me writing big things or essays like if you're at school or if you're studying for me what works best is just setting aside one hour put a timer on my phone and I literally don't look at my phone for the whole hour I just sit there and I just bosh out work and then I give myself a break because it's the end of the day and I've had loads to do like I have had to do my tax return I've had to do um emails out to clients I had to reply to people um that's why I went to see Sam earlier because I'm really bad at reading things. <laughs> things just don't go in my head and often questions, if they're read out to me, they make more sense. But if I read them, I can't understand them. So that's why I went to see Sam because he's just so clever and so helpful. So he was helping me with my tax return. But now I've come back and I've just made myself a chamomile tea to kind of chill myself out a bit if I can ever chill out because I'm just the most manic human you've ever met. I'm looking real shiny um but yeah we're gonna get this essay done one hour let's go actually comment below your favorite ways for studying or learning a new subject I feel like that would be really helpful especially because um exam season's coming up for people that are still in school or at uni I think that would be a really good discussion but yeah for me it's setting an alarm and trying to get what I want done in that set time it does make me manic sometimes and it makes me feel very stressed but <laughs> that's how I get work done after I finished studying I decided to make my dinner and I opted for a tuna rice salad I'm really not a fan of tuna in a tin I only like fresh tuna so that's what I had with my dinner this evening I am completely obsessed with this meal. I cannot stop eating it. You guys need to try it. I think what really makes it is the dressing. It's a homemade dressing that I found on the salad lab, which I'm obsessed with, but I will link it below as well. It will be in the description. So it's three teaspoons of olive oil and two teaspoons of balsamic. Then I add some garlic powder, but you can add fresh garlic as well. It probably would work a little bit better. Then a teaspoon of honey. I think I actually ended up adding two teaspoons. And then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and then loads of salt and pepper as well. And that's it.
Then as always, I ended my evening with a hot drink and I actually had the berry bucket tea this time, which is my go-to nighttime drink. It's really good, especially if you're struggling with sleep. I would highly recommend it. I hope you all have a relaxing evening and I will see you all on Wednesday.